सो वट इज़ गुड गाइज अदनान हेयर एंड हेयर इट इज अ बिट लेट दैन एक्सपेक्टेड बट हेयर फॉर श्योर दिस इज़ अ क्विक लुक एट सम ऑफ द बेस्ट फीचर्स आई फाउंड इन दी ऑल न्यू लिनेज ओ एस फिफ्टीन पॉइंट वन Let's first get the obvious out of the way. Lineage OS 15.1 is based off of Android 8.1 Oreo and has all of its design cues and elements. Things like the slightly transparent notification panel, a more neatly laid out settings app, support for adaptive icons, the now more accessible power menu and so on and so forth. Also Lineage comes equipped with these super materialistic icons. I don't really dig them and you totally have the option to change the icons with an icon pack. If you're in the market for the stockest most obvious rom lineage would be your best chance at it. Style well that's what they're calling the stripped down version of the theme engine from the mighty Cyanogen mod. Unlike the CM theme engine the new options are only restricted to a few options like light, dark or an automatic system wide theme coupled with a few weird accent colors. I really wish the dark mode brought about like real amulet black to the settings app and not this ugly gray but oh well. There's definitely a lot of room to improve and adapt in this aspect of the custom rom and theming is definitely one part where I'm expecting lineage to really build up strong the next time I revisit the rom. One thing throughout the years that has been what I feel the weakest point in Cyanogen's as well as Lineage's history is always the poor choice for the camera app and well 15.1 is absolutely back at it again with this cluster shit of a UI which I hope some of the Scholar OS fans dig. Keeping the subjective talk about the UI aside, the app itself is laggy and half of the modes don't even work yet. So I quickly installed the Google camera and I felt home instantly. I really hope Lineage either figures this out or at the very least rolls back to the less terrible snap camera as before. While there's not much of anything new this year with the set of options we get to play around with, it's still good to have the generic little customizability with the ROM. You have total control over hardware as well as software keys, the off-screen gestures and also have a built-in privacy guard. You can now choose to hide or display specific icons from your status bar and for your OnePlus device, even have the liberty to choose which sides of the alert slider do what. While there are no preset sRGB or DCI-P3 color modes, you still have an accurate color calibration slider with the red, blue and green colors. Overall, while there's nothing new added to Lineage OS 15.1, I prefer it this way, stock but with the few useful features that one might end up needing during specific times. Since I've only been using the custom ROM for about two days, I really can't comment on the performance or battery life as a whole yet, but I know there's a lot of you guys who'd appreciate even those few hours worth of feedback. And well, this ROM has impressed me. Um, yes, there are a couple of frame drops here and there, but that's specific to my device since no Oreo ROM I've tested so far runs 100% smoothly, but battery life has been stellar for the two days I've used the ROM, giving me an impressive 8 hours of screen on time both the times. The ROM also supports dash charging if you're wondering. Lastly, the 15.1 nightlies are scheduled to release really soon and what I have right here is the experimental build. If you really want the most stable experience with like zero stutters, I'd suggest you wait for the couple of nightlies when things become more stable. That's basically it. I'm super psyched for the stuff that's about to come with the release of the base of all custom ROMs. Let me know what you think about the all new Lineage OS 15.1 down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.